Hey guys, Lone here, and I am finally back on YouTube. Now, this video will be reviewing the Paroma Watercolor Brush Pens, and what a review it will be. Now, I had been contacted by this company via email to review their product, and to be honest, I was very excited. So after agreeing that they would allow me to do a full and honest opinion of this product, I was more than stoked to review this. However, once I got the package, that was not the case. So we're going to read off the packaging. It says Paroma Watercolor Brush. 20 colors. Long lasting and doable. Now I'm going to stop right here. If you do not know what doable means, and I will have a picture right up here somewhere in the video of it not obstructed by the packaging, please look it up on Google. You will not be disappointed and you can draw your own conclusions. But I digress. 20 bright, vibrant colors non-toxic and odorless, water-based ink washes from, skin and clothing, with soap, water, suit for, coloring, drawing, lettering, card making. Now I'm going to be honest. As soon as I saw this packaging, my bar, which wasn't set particularly high, due to the fact that this company was not exclusive to artists and artist supplies was lowered. It is the 21st century. There is this thing called spell check. And as you guys can see by the picture that I posted, <sighs> spell check was not used. And so this makes this look extremely unprofessional. On top of that, on their Amazon listing, which I will also have here as well, there are extra little notes which are not on this packaging at all in any regard. Note, please keep cap on when not in use. Please clean after finishing work. Dry for a few minutes. Please loosen cap lightly before use instead of pulling out the cap directly or roughly to avoid linking, leaking out of the ink, uh, out of ink. There is nothing of that sort written here on the packaging, and so for gift giving, this makes it very unlikely, especially if gotten for, say, a younger child, which I believe that this product was bought or is selling to, or would be bought for, these would be notes to have so that they would know how to take care of this product, even though it does sell for $18.99 on Amazon. But it's always good to have, just in case you've never used these products before. But as I've said, there was nothing of that sort on this packaging. I would also like to bring attention to this little card, which was also included in my packaging. You will note with the extra little bits of notes that are on the Amazon listing, you'll notice that it also has warranty. And on the Amazon listing, it says that they have an 18 month warranty. However, on this card, on the not happy side, it states, our friendly and hassle-free service will we'll work hard to put a smile back on your face. 12 months warranty from the date of purchase. Contact us with your order ID if needed. Refund or replacement. Technical support. Support at paroma.net. So, I'm going to point this out, and this is rather obvious, but... Is your warranty 12 months, as it says on the card, or is it 18 months, as said on your Amazon listing? Because of the discrepancy between 18 months and 12 months, it doesn't make you look any better. And it makes this look as if, just for appearance sake, 
that you're just trying to make money. You, that you don't care how this product is presented. So my bar was even lowered. Now, I'm going to show you the footage of me trying to work with these pens and I will give my actual review of the product itself and how well it used. But if you can tell from the tone of my voice, it did not go well. And so we will continue with this review. I hope you enjoy. And please do not expect me to post this image anywhere else on any of my other social media. Now that we have covered all the issues that I had with the packaging of the Paroma watercolor brush pens, I'm going to cover the actual product itself. I will say that the Paroma watercolor brush pens are actually very pigmented, which is the only good thing I can say about this product. Now for all the bad points of these watercolor brush pens. The brush pens do not keep their shape. Even after one use, I noticed that the tips were splitting and it just wasn't good. On top of that, the brush hairs for the pens are uneven. In fact, I didn't notice this right off the bat when I was initially using them and as time went on, that's when I started to notice them. So I had to take a pair of scissors to trim them down to make sure that I could actually use them. One other thing I noticed as well is that these watercolors are highly reactive to water. Like, we're talking like you drop a bit of water on a part that had dried, and it reactivates almost instantly, making what could potentially be an awesome picture into a bit of a water-stained mess, depending on how much water you got on your picture, and you're having to go back over those areas that got messed up. On top of that, and this is about 90%, I would say, not even 90, I would say 85 to 75 to 80% of my problem is that the water brush that they have in this pack, which is just solely what I used, what was in the pack, is absolutely horrible. It did not want to spread out the ink. It did not want to give up any sort of water for me to use. And when it did give up water, I had it laying on its side on a paper towel and it would drip out that way. But when I actually wanted to use it, especially for large areas, that just wasn't happening. And it, I eventually had to trade off the watercolor brush that came with the pack and change it over to my Pentel water brush. And that is why you see a vastly big difference between the sea, or what was supposed to be the sea, and the sky. The sky was done with the Pentel water brush, whereas the C was done with the watercolor brush before I got fed up with it and tried to just dip the pens in water to get a kind of green effect, which then went, you know, and became horrible, and that's why I don't like this picture. And it also shows how reactive this water is, or this pigment is to water. So, there you go. So that is my review of the Paroma watercolor brush pens. Yes, I was asked to do a review. Was I pleased with it? Not really. And as I have a standard with reviews and with giving my subscribers my honest opinion, I would not spend the $18.99 on this product personally. In fact, I would not give this product a second viewing, but I was given this product for free. But even then, it still didn't impress me. So, if you wish to try it and see if you have better luck than I did in the process of using these pens, I will include the link down below. However, I am honestly going to say, don't spend your money. There are other products out there on Amazon and in other locations that are very similar to this, which have a higher quality. And with that said, this review is done. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. 
hit the like button if you like this video and leave a comment down below and hopefully I will see you guys very soon now that I'm back on YouTube. Bye!